Hey guys, it is Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're finally going to begin our look, our complete look, at Lenny by Steve Ray Vaughan. So I did a famous riff video of this, just so you could just learn the opening thing, the main riff. Basically showed you that uh, a while back, and it's gotten enough likes that I'm now going to do the entire song. Um, but because it's a Steve Ray Vaughan song and it's an instrumental, it's going to be a lot of notes. So we're going to have four videos to cover this. And I'm going to kind of go over what I did in the first lesson too. So even if you've not seen that or if you have seen that, I'm just going to start from the beginning and go through it in four different videos. Um, now, unlike the first video where I just tuned to standard so you didn't have to tune down or anything, since we're doing an exact lesson this time, I'm tuned down to the same tuning as Steve Ray Vaughan. So that's an E flat tuning. So tune everything down a half step up and you'll be ready to go. All right, so let's start with this. Everything that I just played is what we'll learn in this video. So let's start here with this opening chord. All right, so that's um, seventh on the A, sixth on the D, eighth on the G, and then ninth fret across the B and the high E. Now this next chord, you're gonna, we'll start up top, 12th fret on the B, 13th fret on the G, 11th on the D. And then you're gonna lay your middle finger across the 12th fret on both the low E and the A string. Because that A note is in there. Now he's probably just kind of doing like this without the A, the bar, but his finger's kind of going over and grabbing that A. So you can leave to take it out if you want to. And then we have this. Low E open, and then the harmonics of the 12th on the B and the high E together. And then the first lick that leads into the main riff. So that's sliding into the 9th fret there on the low E. To 7 on the A. Slide from 9 to 11 on the A string. Over to 9 on the D. And then you do it. You're going to hit the, hit the 9 on the D and the G together. Do a quick little hammer 11 on the G and pull back off to the 9. Then hammer 9 to 11 on the D. Alright, and now we kind of start the main riff that we covered in the first video. So it's a low E open, and then now we're just kind of doing the top without the bottom E since we have the low E there. 6 on the D, 8 on the G. 9 across the B in the high e, high e string. So we have this. And then 7 on the high E. Then hammer 7 to 9 on the B. It's in vibrato. And then 7 on the D, I mean B string, over to 9 on the G. And as you're doing that, you're going to come down. Use your second finger there, the fifth fret on the low E string. And then grab the rest of the chord. Four on the uh, D string, six on the G, five on the B. So that's the first ending here. So as he's going up to that ending, he'll hit some open strings there, and then 
that's sliding in the ninth fret on the low E string, and then seven on the A, then slide nine to eleven on the A, over nine on the D. And then we have hammer nine to eleven on the G, back to nine, and then you're gonna hammer nine to eleven twice on the D. Back to the same beginning. Oh, I'll just play what I like. I just played it. And then we're back to the same thing again. This time, just a little bit different feel at the end, and it looks like this. Let me do that again. That's sliding nine uh, up to the ninth fret again on the low E, over to seven on the A, and then slide to uh, nine to eleven. So that's kind of the same as the first one. Over to nine on the D, and then here we'll mix it up a little bit. We do nine, hammer eleven, pull back off to nine. Quick little uh, things with this. Then nine on the I mean sorry eleven on the D string. And then hammer 11, 9 to 11 on the A over to 9 on the D string. So we have this so far. So that's the second inning. Then it starts over again. And then we once again have a little bit different fill that ends it this time, the third time around. This fill sounds like this. Kind of moves around a little bit quicker. So we're gonna start on the fifth fret here on the low E and then do a quick slide from se seven to nine. So basically it's a 16th note feel but whenever you're doing a slide the first note is just a grace note so it's like it's like that's the timing. Down E, one E and a two E and a. So you're gonna have to so I'm just like I want to play this kind of something just like that. If we just kind of did it without the slides, we would be playing this. Or we're gonna slide into it. Obviously, so we're gonna have, just kind of explain the timing of it. Five, slide in to nine from the seven. Then seven on the A, and slide into the, from nine to 11 quick. Then 9 11 on the D. And then we're going to um, do that hammer pull again from 9 to 11 on the G. Over 11 on the D string. And then, so that's low E open. And you're going to grab the 12th fret on the B and the high E together. Back to the low E open. And they're back starting the riff over. Now from here we do this. So get used to this chord shape here. So that for where, what we were playing here, now we're gonna pick a cross it. The low E, then the B, then the G. Slide it up one fret. Okay, so I have to. And then you're gonna pick, after you slide it up one fret, then pick the low E, the B, and the G again. Just like this. All right, then move it all the way up to the the seventh. Well, the, the low E string is on the seventh fret. The chord shape stays the same. All right, now from here, we kind of do a continual picking pattern. So, so we keep coming back down to this low E string. So we have this low E, D, low E, then B, then back to the low E, back to the B, back to the low E, then the G. So the top notes are, so but in between that, you keep coming back and hitting this note. So we start with the low E. Alright, 
So after from there, you can kind of pick across the top two notes, then slide, move that up to the ninth fret. Do the same thing there, then down to the second fret. It's kind of like this. Then up to the fifth fret. Just kind of do the picking pattern once there. Kind of, I just did it low E, D, back to low E, B string, G string, and then pick the low E and then move it down one fret. So if you know the song, you probably know where that chord's going at all times. After that we have a quick little fill, that's just sliding into 9 on the low E, 7 on the A, then hammer 7 to 9, and then we're back to lo open low E, and then there's harmonics again at the 12th fret on the B and the high E, and then we're going to grab the chord down here, 4th fret again, and then you're just going to pick across this chord a little bit, just nice and quiet. And then we have another fill that ends this measure. And that's sliding in the 9 below E again, 7 on the A, and then hammer 7 to 9 twice. Low E open. Back to that familiar chord. Back to the rip there. Now at this point, we have the first guitar solo starts. And that's where we're going to start that, a look at that one in the next video. So as you can tell, it's, there's a lot of notes going on here. So I mean, I really recommend when you're trying to learn a song like this, um, so you don't get bogged down like not knowing where you're at, <clears throat> make sure you really know the sound of the song. Listen to it dozens of times. And really just so you can just hum the whole thing to yourself. So then when I'm showing you these parts, it's very easy to know where I'm at and where I'm going next because you're so familiar with the sound of the licks. All right. All right. I'll see you uh, pretty soon for part two. Bye-bye.